This is a Power BI page which uses APIs to pull in stock market ticker data along with gas price data and unemployment information. Power BI reaches out to the different APIs, pulls the data in, and mashes it up without having to have an intermediary layer of a data warehouse. All of the ETLs done right in Power BI. On the left hand side you can see that there's a few slicers in order to change the visualizations on the page. If we only wanted to look at, for example, the NASDAQ, we could click on NASDAQ and you'll see that everything filters for that individual ticker. We could also look at the NASDAQ and the Dow, or just the Dow. This first chart shows the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which we've selected in the filter, versus unemployment percent, which is the black line, which is plotted on the secondary y-axis. You can see that when the market crashed in the late 2000s, that there was also a corresponding increase in unemployment that followed it. We can also add the 1990s to this page in order to get a little bit more information. The graph on the right is looking at gas prices versus the Dow. You can also see that gas prices have crashed in 2008 and they're also headed down now in 2015. Let's go ahead and select 2016 and then blow this chart up. And you'll see up here that we can drill down to a more granular level. So if we wanted to look at January of 2016, or even weekly data for 2016, you can see that in the first five weeks of 2016 that the gas prices have continued to trend down and you can also compare that to the Dow. Let's go back to the report and then add the remainder of the years to the data set. At this point, there's just too much information here to put on one little chart, so we'll drill back up to the year level. Down at the bottom, it's plotting the daily Dow Jones Industrial Average versus the rolling 50-day and the rolling 200-day values. Let's just focus on the 2010s. Let's blow this chart up to take a closer look. You'll see that there is a point here late last summer where the rolling 50-day average, which is the red line, crossed over the rolling 200-day average, which is the blue line. This is referred to as a death cross, and some people think that more often than not, it indicates that the market overall is headed in a downward direction. You can see that the trend also happened in 2012, but it's the other way around. The 50-day rolling average went above the 200-day rolling average, and there actually was a long period of sustained growth that happened after that crossing. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but with Power BI, it's easy to put it together, take a look at it, and calculate it for yourself. And there's also a notes and documentation page that you can use to reach out to me with any questions or suggestions, or visit the links where you can go get these open data sources for yourself in order to reproduce or improve upon the report that I've shown in this video.